rallied the Bears past the Raiders 22 to 20 Sunday. Cutler was 28 of 43 for 281 yards and two TDs. When asked after the game if Cutler is too often criticized, Martellus Bennett said, uh, this guy's great. They threw rocks at Jesus, and Jesus was an excellent guy who did a lot of awesome stuff. Our guy I'd say, Skip, I'd say he was. He Marty, was an guy. Marty to Cuddy, comparing him to Way Jesus to like yeah. only a Bennett brother can. Skip, and y'all find this humorous? We're about to. At your expense. <laughs> How impressed were you by Jay Culler? Well, Stephen A., I still really like this Raiders team, <clears throat> and it's possible this Raiders team was looking ahead to its home game next Sunday against Peyton's Broncos. Mm -hmm. But yesterday, the Oakland Raiders on the rise got cutlered, as in Jay Cutler, your favorite Vanderbilt quarterback, anchor down. Way to go, Jay. Jay Cutler wasn't really supposed to be back yet from his pulled hamstring. He sucked it up, gutted it up and played yesterday. Way to go, Jay Cutler. And he lost his starting center early to a broken leg, and he was already down two other offensive line starters. And yet, Jay Cutler threw two touchdown passes, and then this time, he canceled a late interception <coughs> by leading a late drive all the way down for a 49-yard field goal that won the football game. Way to go, Jay Cutler. Make this guy open his eyes and see that you can still play at a very high level. Well, I've never, excuse me, mm -hmm. boy, you lucky I'm sick today. Mm -hmm. I will say this to you. The reason why I said y'all are laughing at this because <sighs> Jay Cutler is no savior. Jay Cutler is quite pathetic compared to most saviors. Mm -hmm. Literally, figuratively, subliminally, Fantasy wise, it doesn't matter. Fantasy, like it, to pay does, it doesn't matter. This man doesn't get it done. He won a game yesterday, that's fine. You know, most teams won a few games during the regular mm. season. Mere bag of shells. Okay, yeah, yeah. mere bag of shells. That's what I was thinking. It's no big deal. They beat the Oakland Raiders. Help that Crabtree went down. I'll mm. give you that. Um, you know, it's the Oakland Raiders, which I reminded you about just the last week. I was trying to tell you, they're not there yet. Relax. Call up the brakes. They can go on a run, Stephen. They, they can go on a run. They they're could. coming. Just wait. Whatever. I'm hey, still waiting. The I'm still waiting. They're going to have their like hands full. Sure, 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 sure. Oh. I, 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 I feel you on yeah. that. I'm just saying that. You know, they won a game yesterday in Chicago, Soldier Field. All right, I got it. I got it, Skip. Mm -hmm. You know, but be careful. You know, Matt Forte, 20, 91 mm -hmm. yards rushing. Okay, congratulations. I get it. Mm -hmm. No Alshon Jeffrey. I understand that. Mm -hmm. My toes been came Pretty alive. Impressive. You got him the ball. You got him the ball 11 times. I appreciate mm -hmm. that, Skip Bayless. They needed to get him the ball. They needed mm -hmm. to get him the ball more. Mike Ditka was on Sports Center yesterday talking about how they needed to get Martellus Bennett the ball. But it is Jay Cutler mm -hmm. we're talking about here. So you can get all excited. You can do that. But I just want you to keep in mind, from Dallas to Jay Cutler, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, Tom Brady's reliable. So I give oh, you there. Oh, he's I reliable? Give, I, I give you there. That's all you're giving? No, no, no. no reliable? What I'm he's okay. Your heart's not going to get completely cracked in half mm -hmm. because at least one of the three mm -hmm. is going to come through for you. Mm -hmm. But I have an obligation because, you see, I don't want to do this show without you. You know oh. what I'm saying? It ain't your first take without Skip Bayless, man. Okay. And I want you here. So you have to understand, I don't want okay. you to put yourself in a position where your heart gets cracked in half, mm -hmm. you can't recover, you're in no position to be up here on this set with us because mm -hmm. you're so disappointed because you place your faith in the wrong people. Mm. It's one game. Mm. Pump the brakes, calm down, relax, chill. Because Jay Cutler will not let you down. He will screw up mm -hmm. again on several occasions mm. before this season's over. Mm. Don't even worry about Jay it. Jay Cutler does not it's have my heart. Win, John yeah. Fox, John Fox heart. don't even believe in him. That's why he's sitting up there and cleaning the house. Don't be surprised mm -hmm. if Matt Forte is next. Trust me. Cowboys, they don't get rid of Brady, everybody. Spurs. Please. Mm. They have your heart. Those yeah, three, and, uh, right? please. and the show. Yeah, and they please. really haven't let me down. And Ernestine, no, all no. those. Yeah. Like, that's who has right. your heart. Mm -hmm. Breaking news here into first take. Head coach of the Miami Dolphins, Joe Philbin, has been fired. More first take after the break. Thank you for that, Stephen A. League sources are telling our Adam Schefter the Dolphins are preparing to fire head coach Joe Philbin. Sources said the organization could make the move as soon as today. But Dolphins owner Stephen Ross could always change his mind. Stephen A., you said this was going to happen. You thought it was the right move. You still on board with that? What's your reaction? Absolutely. I think it would be an absolute. I think the, I'm not 
calling anybody names. Mm -hmm. But I think for in this particular instance, uh, Mr. Ross, the owner for the Miami Dolphins, let me be very, very clear, would be an absolute fool not to fire Joe Philbin. Mm -hmm. uh, he has to go. Um, and I say that with, with no joy, or I don't know Joe Philbin. Um, I'm just going by what I see. And one of the things that I lean on Skip Bayless, and, I, and I'll use this as an example, the Steelers a couple of years back started out 0-4. And, and I never forget one of my proudest moments watching Mike Tomlin was when he was standing on the sideline and literally when the game was decided, he was watching guys come to the sidelines, come off the field, and one by one, he made it a point to stand in front of them and look into each one of their eyes. And when they asked him about it later, he said, I want to make sure I know who's going to quit mm -hmm. and who's not. Mike Tomlin, you hear how Ryan Clark speaks about him and other members of the Pittsburgh Steelers. To some degree, we hear that about Bill Belichick. We hear that. We heard that about Bill Parcells. We hear that about a plethora of other coaches. We also hear the flip side, the Philbins of the world, who had no business being a head coach. Mm -hmm. By the way, he wasn't even a coordinator, if I remember correctly. He was a position coach, and it's rare you see a position coach gets elevated to the head coaching duties. I believe that Joe Philbin is a knowledgeable football mind who can contribute to a, a lot of good to organizations. Maybe he could go back to Green Bay and work with Brett Favre or whatever. He has, I'm mean, right, Favre, Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. He has no business being a head football coach in the National Football League. I do not believe he is a leader of men. Mm -hmm. I do not believe that he is somebody that can galvanize the troops and to inspire them to go all out. Mm -hmm. Although it wasn't as ugly as people want to surmise, the bottom line is they went to London, England yesterday and lost to the New York Jets and after the meeting with the defensive coordinator, who definitely is going to go because the players can't stand playing for him, the bottom line is they gave up 160-plus yards to Chris Ivory, mm -hmm. okay? And Dominican Sue looks like a shell of himself. Remember, he was in Detroit. He was telling the defend his defensive teammates, this is what we're going to do, here's what we're going to do. You, do. you go there, you go there, you go there. Now in Miami, he's just another name that you know another puppet for them which is why he didn't answer those questions even though i believe he should answer those questions because that's what you paid to do play and answer yep. questions that's what being a professional is but that's another subject for another day the bottom line is he is clearly being misused he's not being helped he's definitely not being inspired so you take all of those things into consideration and considering the 149 plus million dollars that the miami Dolphins spent in the off season you are coming up short Stephen Ross's one shot to save this season mm -hmm. is to fire Philbin today. I'm not, I'm sad about it because I don't wish that on anybody. I mm -hmm. swear to you. I don't want anybody to impede anybody's ability to take care of their families. But I'm sure he'll get a severance package and before long he'll land someplace else with a job as a coordinator or position coach. He just don't need to be a head coach, <laughs> especially in Miami. It is time for Philbin to go. And I expect, not hope, I expect Ross mm -hmm. to announce that decision within the next couple of you hours. I think that would save the season for this team? I think it's the only shot to save the season. I don't think I'm not saying it'll work. I'm saying it's their only shot. Okay. I have thought Philbin was in over his head since, remember when Hard Knocks did the Dolphins camp? Yeah. Lost track. With him and Ocho Seco. Oh, yeah, that really rubbed me the wrong <laughs> way, me too. Me, too. Me, too. Yeah. Okay, the problem here is that somebody committed long-term to Ryan Tannehill as the face of the franchise quarterback. And that was a big mistake. And I said it before the draft, but right now Ryan Tannehill's QBR is 32 on a scale of 0 to 100. And yesterday on third down, Ryan Tannehill's offense was 0 for 12. And on fourth down, 0 for 4. A combined 0 for 16. He's not good enough to save the season. That's just me. I've said it from the start. I've been consistent. So you got two big issues. You have a head coach and you have a quarterback. You can't undo the quarterback, and I don't know who should be responsible for signing the quarterback. Was it just Philbin? Did Ross have a hand in that? Did, was it from the executives, the general manager? I don't know. But in, in the end, you also gave an astounding amount of money to a Sioux who, who doesn't have leadership intangibles to me in the locker room. He, he is sort of his own guy. And, and as long as you let him do his own thing, I don't know about him calling out signals to the other defenders, maybe so. But 
Not signals. I'm yeah. just saying that yeah. he was telling guys what where okay. they should be on the field. That's what the okay. other football analysts said. Okay, but but to me, he's he's not a leader in the locker room that that you need when you pay that guy that much money. Okay, I don't think he was a leader in Detroit, and and so he's not rubbing off on the rest of the team. So you have a great defensive lineman, though some people wonder about his effort from play to play. I don't know about that, but you have a quarterback who's not big time. So you're going to have problems. You could put another coach in there, and I'm not sure you could turn it around quickly. But Skip, the thing about it is that all the aficionados say that he was worth the money uh, because of what he means to that defense, clogging the line of scrimmage, neutralizing your running game. I think the indictment against Joe Philbin is that they're running all over the Miami Dolphins. They can't stop the run to save their life. Ryan Tannehill being overpaid, I personally don't think he's overpaid. I think that when you look at the $45 million, considering the money that's being doled out, the fact that Jay Cutler is guaranteed nine more million mm -hmm. than uh, uh, Ryan Tannehill, I think he's somewhat of a bargain. I just think that you have to put the necessary pieces around him. You can't bring in Wallace and expect him to do his heart line is gone as well. You mm -hmm. had him in there. He was supposed to be something. Yep. You know, you just look at the per you look at the personnel decisions that were made skip it's almost like they're lifeless and let me tell you something right now and i know it's, it's just something on, on the periphery and people don't take this into consideration but i'm gonna tell y'all again and people need to learn to listen to me when i say stuff like this because it's important where you play matters sometimes mm -hmm. you can't be in south beach with those distractions and you ain't ultra motivated. You have to be. A Kobe Bryant can play mm -hmm. in oh. South Beach. A Kevin Durant and a LeBron and them, they can play in South Beach. Dudes who are full. Russell Westbrook can play in South Beach. But you can't have somebody that's easily distracted. I get it. And they're in Miami. All I'm trying to say to you is that when stuff like that happens, you got to have that extra motivational skill inside mm -hmm. of you when you don't have the personnel that fits that. Philbin ain't that dude. Mm -hmm. That's my issue. Tomlin, if coaching Mike in South Beach, he could do that. Okay. Uh, you but, need but, people but like but that. At 0-4, he still had Big Ben. Right? I understand okay, that. So you're okay. I, I, I understand that. But yeah. I'm just saying, when things were falling apart, mm -hmm. cats didn't go out there and give up. You got guys calling out the defensive coordinator. They tweeting about being gone. And, you know, all of this kind of stuff going on. In the middle of the game, you can't have that. Nope. They got to go. Coach got to go. Got to go. <laughs> Like the Eagles, this Dolphins team, a lot of people uh, are optimistic going into the season that they were going to be very strong. Now they're sitting at 1-3 and three in the AFC East. After the break, Jay Cutler leads Chicago to their first win of the season. Woohoo! How impressed is Stephen A. by the Bears franchise quarterback? Can't wait for that. Find out next. Cutler rallied the Bears past the Raiders 22 to 20 Sunday. Cutler was 28 of 43 for 281 yards and two TDs. When asked after the game if Cutler is too often criticized, Martellus Bennett said, uh, this guy's great. They threw rocks at Jesus, and Jesus was an excellent guy who did a lot of awesome stuff. Our guy I'd say, Skip, I'd say he was. Marty, he was an guy. Marty to Cuddy, comparing Ooh, him to Jesus to like yeah. only a Bennett brother can. <sighs> Skip. And y'all find this humorous? We're about to. At your expense. <laughs> How impressed were you by Jay Cutler? Well, Stephen A., I still really like this Raiders team. <clears throat> and it's possible this Raiders team was looking ahead to its home game next Sunday against Peyton's Broncos. Mm -hmm. But yesterday, the Oakland Raiders, on the rise, got Cutlered, as in Jay Cutler, your favorite Vanderbilt quarterback, anchor down. Way to go, Jay. Jay Cutler wasn't really supposed to be back yet from his pulled hamstring. He sucked it up, gutted it up, and played yesterday. Way to go, Jay Cutler. And he lost his starting center early to a broken leg, and he was already down two other offensive line starters. And yet, Jay Cutler threw two touchdown passes, and then this time, he canceled a late interception <coughs> by leading a late drive all the way down for a 49-yard field goal that won the football game. Way to go, Jay Cutler. Make this guy open his eyes and see that you can still play at a very high level. Well, I've never, excuse me, mm -hmm. boy, you lucky I'm sick today. Mm. Mm. I will say this to you. The reason why I said y'all are laughing at this, because <sighs> Jay Cutler is no savior. Jay Cutler is quite pathetic compared to most saviors. Mm. Literally, figuratively, subliminally, 
fantasy wise, it doesn't matter. Fantasy, like it, you does, it doesn't matter. This man doesn't get it done. He won a game yesterday. That's fine. You know, most teams won a few games during the mm. regular season. Mere bag of shells. Okay, yeah, yeah. mere bag of shells. That's what I was thinking. It's no big deal. They beat the Oakland Raiders. Help that Crabtree went down. I'll mm. give you that. Um, you know, it's the Oakland Raiders, which I reminded you about just the last week. I was trying to tell you. They're not there yet. Relax. Call up the brakes. They can go on a run, Stephen. They, they can go on a run. They They're could. coming. Just wait. Whatever. I'm hey, still waiting. The I'm still waiting. You're going to have their like hands full. Sure, 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 sure. Well, I, 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 I feel you on yep. that. I'm just saying that, you know, they won a game yesterday in Chicago. Soldier Field. All right. I got it. I got it, Skip. Mm -hmm. You know, but be careful. You know, Matt Forte, 20, 91 mm -hmm. yards rushing. Okay, congratulations. I get it. Mm -hmm. No Alshon Jeffrey. I understand that. Mm -hmm. My toes been a kick. You got him the ball. You got him the ball 11 times. I appreciate mm -hmm. that. Bayless, they needed to get him the ball. They needed mm -hmm. to get him the ball more. Mike Ditka was on Sports Center yesterday talking about how they needed to get Martellus Bennett the ball. But it is Jay Cutler mm -hmm. we're talking about here. So you can get all excited. You can do that. But I just want you to keep in mind from Dallas to Jay Cutler. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, Tom Brady's reliable, so I give oh, you there. Oh, he's I give, reliable? I, I give you there. That's all you're giving? No, no, no. no. What, reliable? What he's okay. Your heart's not going to get completely cracked in half mm -hmm. because at least one of the three mm -hmm. is going to come through for you. Mm -hmm. But I have an obligation because, you see, I don't want to do this show without you. You know oh. what I'm saying? It ain't your first take without Skip Bayless, man. Okay. And I want you here. So you have to understand, I don't want okay. you to put yourself in a position where your heart gets cracked in half, mm -hmm. you can't recover, you're in no position to be up here on this set with us because mm -hmm. you're so disappointed because you place your faith in the wrong people. Mm. It's one game. Mm. Pump the brakes, calm down, relax, chill, because Jay Cutler will not let you down. He 